Here's how to future-proof your cybersecurity career so you never get replaced by AI. I know this has been a very hot topic in the past few months because it feels like every other week there's a new headline about AI breaking some new record or advancing faster than we'd ever anticipated. And if you're hearing all of this and thinking, dang, is AI going to replace my job? Will there even be a need for cybersecurity or tech professionals in the future? Then this video is going to answer that question. And the short answer is no. AI isn't replacing cybersecurity professionals, it's replacing repetitive tasks. Yes, AI is great at things like automating log analysis, threat detection, ticket triaging, but it can't replace critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, or human intuition. And yes, I've seen the headlines about the AI bot that is now the number one ethical hacker on Hacker One charts. But if you dig a little deeper into this AI, Expo or Crossbow, Hopefully I'm saying one of those right. Personally, I think crossbow makes sense. This is a fully autonomous AI-driven pen tester. It requires no human input and can complete comprehensive penetration tests in just a few hours. The primary human interaction is when you actually seed it with the target URL for it to conduct its pen test. So does that mean we're now in the era of AI ethical hackers? Well, not necessarily. Humans still configure scope, humans still validate the results, and humans still triage the vulnerabilities that it finds. The point is, at least right now, AI is used as tools to help enhance the job of a security analyst, not to completely replace them. And that is something I really want to focus on because I see so many posts that basically make it sound like the end of the world that are too focused on the negative side of AI that it doesn't see that can also be used to help improve your work, make you more productive, and of course do the repetitive tasks that you probably didn't want to do anyway. And if you worked in any cybersecurity team, you know that the backlog is huge and there are certain projects that you just don't have the time to get to unless you're able to double the size of your team for example but obviously that is probably not going to happen but if you're using ai to automate the tasks that are repetitive that you don't want to do anyway that are very time consuming and now spending that time working on the projects that actually move the team forward actually improve your cybersecurity program then it really is a win-win for everyone but of course that also means you should be focusing on going into the cybersecurity roles and niches that require strategic thinking and decision making and not necessarily just following a script or following a step-by-step -step guide that could easily be automated. So how exactly can you future-proof your cybersecurity career? Number one is to learn how AI works, not to compete with it, but to collaborate with it. In a recent interview I did with the VP of security at Microsoft, she mentioned a really great frame of reference when you're thinking about the future of cybersecurity and tech work. For example, let's say you're a cybersecurity professional. Back then when you had to triage or dig through logs or spin up an incident, all of this was manual work that you had to do by yourself, whether it be through using different dashboards, different tools, different platforms. But now using AI with so many integrated tools, you can think of it as having different AI bots or AI assistants doing the work for you so that you can move faster and get to the stuff that's actually important. For example, having an AI assistant just digging through logs, having an AI assistant just triaging a alerts, having another AI assistant escalating any incidents, and then you bouncing back and forth between these AI assistants, basically as a sort of manager to review or approve anything, to validate any data or findings. So you can basically be five, 10 times more productive using AI compared to just doing everything on your own. And that is really where the power of AI comes in when it comes to supercharging your career. A cybersecurity professional who has experience using AI, who has experience defending against AI, those are irreplaceable skills that employers are going to want to hire for in the next three, five, 10 years. Because let's face it, AI isn't going anywhere and it's only going to get more advanced and improve with time. So our job as cybersecurity professionals is really to get accustomed into integrating AI into our workflows to make us more productive at defending against cyber attacks, at detecting vulnerabilities, being faster and better at doing our jobs. And of course, understanding machine learning basics, how models are trained and where they fail is going to be another important thing when it comes to understanding the positives and the negatives of integrating AI into our workflows, because let's face it, almost every platform that I've seen has an AI tool in it somewhere. Now, another way to future-proof your career is to focus on AI security. This is one of the newest areas in cybersecurity that is going to be hiring rapidly in the next five to 10 years because of things like adversarial ML, data poisoning, LLM, prompt injection, and model theft. All these security issues and exploits are out there and they're being taken advantage of by different attackers, but there aren't enough cybersecurity professionals in this field who are able to defend against them. So this also means cybersecurity professionals who upskill into AI threat modeling or secure model deployment are going to be in super high demand. Basically anyone at the intersection of AI and cybersecurity, which is definitely one of the newest areas to come out of this whole AI boom. And considering how much sensitive data is being shared with these AI models, this is going to quickly become one of the top priorities of companies across the world. And if you're someone who is interested in this space, Veronis has a new free AI security fundamentals training that I highly recommend. I personally checked out this course myself and it goes through all the foundations and understanding of the different classes of AI solutions and how they access sensitive data, 
knowledge of the risks associated with each type of AI, effective practices to keep your data safe so you can discover the pitfalls within different types of AI, and proven strategies to address those security challenges. And once you complete this free training, you'll also get a certificate of achievement and a LinkedIn status badge. And did I mention this entire training is free? So why should I take this AI security fundamentals training from Veronis? Veronis is the number one data security platform in the world that protects your sensitive data in one comprehensive solution. They're one of the leaders in the data security space Space. And again, considering how much data we're spitting into these AI chatbots, AI models, you're going to want to know the risks that are involved and how to prevent them so that you can keep your data secure and of course more private while taking into account data privacy. Yes, AI is transforming the way we work, but as more and more of us use AI on a daily basis, I personally use AI for work and for personal. So this course was very helpful in helping me understand how I can keep my data secure even while using AI. You can also access additional Veronis training at veronis.com slash webinars or on their Veronis YouTube channel. And of course, I'll also have those linked in my description. So if you're interested in checking this out, which I highly recommend, it is also a great addition onto your resume and your LinkedIn. I'll have the Veronis AI Security Fundamentals course linked in my description below. Thank you to Veronis for sponsoring this video. Okay, so outside of these skills, the main thing that will set you apart is soft skills. If you've taken a look at the World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs Report 2025, you'll see that in the top 10 jobs that companies are hiring for in the Future of Jobs Report, a majority of these are soft skills. This means things like communication, risk-based decision-making, and leadership can't be automated. Yes, AI can process data, but no, it can't explain risk to a board, lead an incident response team, or build trust with stakeholders. These are all things that you can do to set yourself apart as a cybersecurity professional. But another way to break into cybersecurity if you're just starting out is to first start your career in IT and then pivot into cybersecurity once you have technical experience. This is a very popular way I recommend because typically there are just more entry-level IT jobs compared to entry-level cybersecurity jobs. The course I recommend for this is Josh Matacor's IT course, and I've done interviews with his students. I'll link one down in my description where someone with zero technical IT cybersecurity experience was able to get a job within basically a month of completing this course. So I highly recommend checking that out. IT is one of the biggest areas in tech that overlap in cybersecurity in terms of skills, in terms of tooling. If you've been trying to break into cybersecurity and haven't had as much luck getting an entry-level job, consider starting out in IT first and then pivoting your way into cyber. I also have a discount code for the IT course, also linked below and I believe there's also a free intro to IT course that you can take as part of the full certification program. When you're working in cybersecurity, a lot of your job also depends on other people. And one of my last jobs as a security analyst, we had a vulnerability management plan that outlined certain SLAs, service level agreements, that basically give us certain deadlines to remediate certain vulnerabilities based on the criticality level. But of course, if you worked in cybersecurity, you know that the cybersecurity team is typically not the one that is actually remediating the vulnerabilities. Usually this is the development team. But as you always know, development teams are usually very busy. If you send over an email about a vulnerability to the dev team, first of all, they most likely will take a week to read it. And if it's a critical vulnerability, then that is obviously not going to fly if it needs to be remediated, for example, within seven days. And even if you had an AI bot do that and constantly remind the dev team to remediate this vulnerability, if the dev team has really important features that they have to push out that week, have other vulnerabilities or priorities that they're working on, then they're most likely just going to ignore that AI bot or, or any automated alert, honestly, that comes their way about it. However, this is where soft skills comes in. If you're working as a cybersecurity professional, one of your biggest jobs, in my opinion, is also to get to know all the other teams that you work with. This includes legal, sales, the dev team, of course, privacy and compliance, because all of these are also related to cybersecurity, especially if you're working for a company that is also going through different audits. And I feel like a lot of people think that cybersecurity is a very isolated role where you're just you know, hacking away at something. But for the most part, you need to have connections with these teams and at least a member of the team that you can contact if you have an important ask like remediating a critical vulnerability. And that is exactly what I did. When this critical vulnerability came in, I tapped a colleague of mine that I knew well. Obviously I had to build up that connection and camaraderie over time after working at that company for two years. And I was able to get this vulnerability prioritized to be remediated within our SLA. And that is just not something that AI can replace. I guarantee you if a dev team sees an AI bot, send them a notification about remediating a vulnerability, they're likely not going to acknowledge it and they're probably not even going to look at it. But it also goes to show how important soft skills can be when it comes to making connections and of course for the future. Having a good relationship with your colleagues, your coworkers, your managers, your senior leadership is going to set you up for success in the future because you really never know who you may be working with, who might be giving you a job offer, who might be giving you a referral. And that is why I truly believe that soft skills will set you apart when it comes to growing in your cybersecurity career. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is something that I think you probably 
probably already saw coming, and that is to upscale continuously. This means certifications, labs, and real-world projects. So what I want you to understand is that future-proofing yourself isn't a one-time thing, so staying current on certifications, hands-on labs, and potentially contributing to open-source projects can really help you keep your skills sharp, and of course looking into new courses and certification trainings that involve AI and new cybersecurity skills like machine learning, Python for automation, or data science basics for information security. And of course, the Veronis AI Security Fundamentals course. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to check out Veronis and all of their free training, including their AI Security Fundamentals course and their other free courses linked in my description below. Don't forget to also stay connected on LinkedIn, Instagram. Also feel free to join our Discord channel linked in my description as well. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. And of course, if there are any other video topics you'd like to see from me in the future, let me know in the comments below. Sometimes it is really helpful to get an idea of what you guys actually want to see compared to just, you know, coming up with the ideas myself and throwing them into the void. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!